Hello, my name is Kirill Simonov, and I'm going to talk about Pretty Printing, a library for optimal layout of code and data. How many ways do you know to generate a human-readable representation of a Julia object? You could print it. You could show it. You could display it. You could dump it. Clearly, it's not nearly enough. The Pretty Printing package extends the happy family of data serialization functions with another member, called pprint. The skeptics among you might wonder whether this new function is really of any use. Surely among those which are already available, you could always find the one which serves your needs. Let's see. Take any nested data structure consisting of vectors and dictionaries, the one which you typically get when you parse a JSON, YAML or TOML file. For this example, I'm going to load a project TOML file from one of my Julia packages. Next, try to serialize it. Maybe you're working in a REPL session and you want to inspect the data, or perhaps it is your program which prints the data for diagnostic purposes. Which of the printing functions will you use? Print, as well as show, will faithfully represent the data as a valid Julia expression. Unfortunately, it will print the whole expression in a single line, making it very difficult to read. Display will print each key on a separate line, which helps to emphasize the structure of the top-level container but the corresponding values are printed on the same line and, in REPL, truncated at the screen width. Dump will happily display the internal representation of the dict object, convenient if you study hash tables, not very useful otherwise. Pretty printing output is optimized for legibility. Just like show, pretty printing represents the data as a valid Julia expression, however it is less precise, since it omits the type parameter in vector and dictionary constructors. On the other hand, pretty printing outputs the data on multiple lines and formats the data using indentation, just like a person would. Importantly, pretty printing is aware of the screen dimensions. It will optimize the layout of the data to make it fit the width of the screen. How does it work? Pretty printing represents all possible layouts of data in the form of a layout expression. Layout expressions are built using three operators – vertical composition, horizontal composition, and the choice operator. Pretty printing will search through all possible layouts represented by the layout expression to find the optimal layout, the one that takes a few lines but does not exceed the screen width. The algorithm for finding the optimal layout is described in this paper by Philip Yeland. In short, it's a dynamic programming with respect to the available screen width. The clever part of the algorithm is that it exploits the shape of the cost function, which is piecewise linear, to dramatically reduce the size of the problem space. I highly recommend the paper if you're into this kind of things. Pretty Printing supports the majority of scalar and container data types defined in the base library, including vectors, sets, and dictionaries. Pretty Printing can also serialize XPro object, which means it can pretty print not just Julia data, but also Julia code. A fairly large subset of Julia syntax is supported. Ability to serialize Julia code is what we exploit to extend Pretty Printing to user-defined data types. For the next example, I'm going to use a project info object, which encapsulates the data from a project toml file. Could we provide a better representation than the standard show function? We want to format a project info object as a truly expression, an invocation of a project info constructor. Pretty Printing already knows how to format truly expressions, so all we need to do is to teach it how to convert an object to an expression representing it. This is done by implementing the method quote of. Here is the result. We could even make it the default representation in REPL by overriding the three argument show method. Just keep in mind that using pretty printing is much more expensive in terms of CPU and memory, so don't do it if it could potentially become a performance bottleneck. I want to talk about what led me to implement a pretty printing library. FunSQL is a library for compositional construction of SQL queries. Compositional here means that a query could be constructed from components developed separately and assembled together on the fly. This is a powerful technique, and dynamically generated queries could become quite complex, often more complex than the queries you could possibly write by hand. For debugging, we need a way to inspect generated query objects. In a way, this is similar to the experience of working with Julia macros. Julia assists in debugging dynamically generated Julia code by providing a function called macroexpand, which returns the code generated by the macro. I use pretty printing to provide the same service for FunSQL. 
In general, a fanciful query object is not necessarily a tree, but could be an arbitrary acyclic graph. Therefore, it cannot be generated without use of variables. FunSQL serializes a query object as a let expression, assigning a variable for each query node. This is an exception raised by FunSQL, and as you can see, we could even make pretty printing highlight a part of the expression. Pretty printing makes developing and debugging experience with FunSQL much more pleasant. Thank you for your attention.